What is the real-world range of the Volkswagen ID4 with the 77 kWh battery pack? It's time to find out in this range test. My name is Bastian and welcome to Recharging. The WLTP range of the Volkswagen ID4 with the 77 kWh battery pack and rear-wheel drive is around 540 km, depending on how big your tires are. And this car has the bigger tires, so keep that in mind. The conditions are pretty good. It is between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius. There's barely any wind and there is minimal rain from time to time, so not bad. What can you expect? Well, you can expect a range at 90 km per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions, one at 100 km per hour and one at 130 km per hour. The car is charged up, so let's go. So what I will do is I will drive from around 75% to around 25% while doing 100 km per hour GPS speed. This is speedo speed, I will do GPS speed. Based on that number, I will calculate how much energy I can get out of the battery. Then I will do a 90 km per hour consumption test and 130 km per hour. Based on those consumption numbers and the amount of energy I can get out of the battery, you know the range at 90 and 130 km per hour. And that is how I will do it from now on, because that should at least be close enough for a range test. Why do I say close enough? Because there are so many variables when you are driving and I am driving that it's always an estimate, it's not an exact range. So yeah, that's that. So how is the car doing while driving 100 km per hour then? Um, I have used now around 13% and I have driven 59 kilometers. When I had used around 10% state of charge, I had driven around 48, 49 kilometers. So the range at 100 km per hour seems like around 480 to 490 kilometers, which is actually really good. And I know from other videos that the state of charge scale in MEB cars is pretty linear. So hopefully uh, that, that will be the number. Hopefully it will. Why are people going so slow on the highway? I mean, come on. Put your foot on the accelerator, damn it. Jeez. I'm driving 103. Well, I can do 130. Why are you driving so insanely slow? I don't get that. I don't get why people that do that. But anyway, that is the range. I will give you another update when I have used 25% state of charge. And well, yeah, I will keep on driving. I am cruising along in this very comfortable ID4. Yeah, this is a very comfortable car to drive. Good seats quiet comfortable suspension this car has the dynamic chassis control which makes it extra comfortable or can make it extra comfortable and i do have it on comfort so yes it is again it's very nice very relaxed you don't get tired at all but anyway i'm not here for that the consumption etc etc the car has used 25 percent state of charge while driving 100 kilometers per hour and on that 25%, I have driven 115 kilometers. So the range at the moment is 460 kilometers. And if I do the rough math real quick, well, I have already done it, then I can get around 76 kilowatt hours out of this battery pack while driving. And that is really good. That is almost what Volkswagen is claiming that this car has. Is that degradation then? No, it is not. 77 kilowatt hours is in a lap. Here you have some heat loss and stuff while driving. So 76 kilowatt hours, again, really good, really good. Thumbs up here, thumbs up. Well, at least I hope it stays this, at least I hope it stays this way. The consumption while driving this fast, sometimes a bit faster, sometimes a bit slower, is around 16.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That's not bad. That's not bad for such a big car. Again, this is an efficient DV. Really good, really good. Anyway, I will keep on driving, uh, do a 130 kilometers per hour consumption run after this, and then you will get the result. I am doing my 130 kilometers per hour consumption run. I am at my turnaround point, and I have to say, I'm not disappointed. I am not disappointed because the average consumption was, now it is lower because of regen, but it was 25 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers while driving 130 kilometers per hour. It is raining. I thought it wouldn't, but it is raining. Roads are wet and it is 14 degrees Celsius. So then doing 25 isn't bad, but I think I had tailwind 
so that helps so again I'm turning around going on the highway right now it's getting a bit it's getting a bit foggy here it's getting a bit foggy then I drive the other way let's see then what the consumption finally is and then I have driven around 40 kilometers while doing 130 kilometers per hour that is enough for a consumption run that is enough to know what the car is consuming because that 25 kilowatt hours also wasn't changing and man you can really feel this is a German car it's so stable at 130 kilometers per hour it's quiet it's a really pleasant experience and the dynamic chassis control helps with it but anyway I will drive 20 kilometers back and then let's get to the conclusion of it all so I am done with my range test and yes maybe you see it I am wearing a different t-shirt because I am recording this on a different day and even in a different car but that doesn't matter let's get to the result of the range test of the Volkswagen ID4 and I'll start with my 100 kilometers per hour test because I started that test with 77% state of charge and I finished my test with 29% so that means I've used 48% on that 48% I have driven 220 kilometers so that means the range while driving 100 kilometers per hour is 458 kilometers the average consumption was 16.6 .6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and this is a efficient result because during my test it was between 15 and 17 degrees Celsius and it rained more than I thought so again I don't think this is a bad result also, according to these numbers, I could get around 76 kilowatt hours out of the battery pack, which is also a correct result because Volkswagen claims it has 77 kilowatt hours. Is that degradation then? Maybe a tiny little bit, but I don't think so because you also have some heat loss and stuff. So 76 kilowatt hours out of the battery is pretty good. It's pretty good. Then that was the 100 kilometers per hour result. Then let's get to the 90 kilometers per hour result because based on that 76 kilowatt hours that I could get out of the battery, I did a consumption run while driving 90 kilometers per hour. When I did that, that was on a different day. It was around 15 degrees Celsius, no rain. And I got an average consumption of 15 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that means a range of 506 kilometers in those conditions, which is also a good result if you ask me. I do think that in summer conditions, so when it is really warm, 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, you can get the WLTP range of around 560 kilometers with the Volkswagen ID4. So, well done Volkswagen, well done. Of course in winter you will get less, but that is the name of the game with every electric car. Then the result of the 130 kilometers per hour test. During that test it was around 14 degrees Celsius and a lot of rain. Yes, it rained a lot. And then I got an average consumption of 24.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So based on that consumption, you have a range of around 310 kilometers while driving 130 kilometers per hour. But again, the conditions were not great. So in summer, you can do more. In winter, you could probably do a bit less, but doing more than 300 kilometers while driving 130 kilometers per hour, again, is really good again is really good so that was the result of the volkswagen id4 range test um i hope you liked it thank you a lot for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and then as always do we continue mm -hmm.